defenseman Tony D'Angelo clearing waivers today after being put on those uh, following the altercation with his goaltender Alexander Gorgiev following Saturday's loss in overtime. The Rangers uh, addressed the situation just a couple of minutes ago prior to tonight's game. Uh, Jeff Gordon making those comments. Dan Rosen tweeting out Tony D'Angelo has played his last game for the Rangers. GM Jeff Gordon said uh, he's on the taxi squad right now and they're trying to find another place for him to play. Again, uh, working on some sound from the Rangers in that situation. We'll give it to you as soon as we get that in-house. But from uh, one Ranger to another, as a former Ranger, what do you make of this whole situation and how it's being dealt with in the Big Apple right now? It's a, it's a very tough situation. Um, I, I like the way it's being dealt with. I mean, Jeff Gordon came out and said that, you know, we spoke to him previously, and if we have another incident like we've had before with him, um, you know, he's not going to play here anymore. And, and they stuck to their guns, and that's what they did. Um, unfortunately, these, these instances seem to keep coming up with him. It wasn't uh, a one and done. And, you know, emotions rise during a game. You, you get in altercations with teammates yelling, screaming. Uh, you see in some practices sometimes there's a little bit of fighting. But um, this wasn't an isolated situation. This was a situation that keeps occurring over time. And, uh, the Rangers had to address it, and hopefully they can they can move on from his contract either by trade or or something else. But uh, sounds like he's played his last game. Uh, Hartsey, what do you make of this situation for a team that's just trying to find their footing on the ice right now in a shortened season, and you try to limit the distractions? Uh, could this be an addition by subtraction for the Rangers? Yeah, I think so. I think everyone's kind of been talking about it. Uh, obviously, there was stuff uh, pre-training camp, and and obviously the stuff that happened, uh, you know, the last day or so, and. And for me, I'm sure, uh, Callie, you can attest to this. Like, I haven't really found too many bad guys in an NHL locker room or hockey in general. Staff, uh, you know, training staff, uh, management coaches, things like that. And, you know, the more things they hear about this guy, it's, it's uh, you kind of have to shake your head a little bit. And obviously, uh, they're try trying to move him. And hopefully this is a wake-up call for D'Angelo to, to kind of take a look in the mirror and, and say, well, what am I doing here? Am I being the best person that I could be? Because at the end of the day, that's really all you have you know your hockey players but you got to be a good person inside and out so uh for me it's it's uh you know sayonara uh good riddance whatever you want to say to them but you know at the end of the day they, they've been finding ways to lose and and you can't obviously blame it on this and the drama but it'll be good to, to say goodbye to him and, and turn the page and move on. And this is a guy that just signed that extension coming off career numbers uh, that's, that's, a year ago. Yeah, that's the other thing is they're going to miss him on the ice. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's, yeah, a, he's, he's a quality defenseman. He, he puts up good points for him, plays in situa all situations. He's good on the power play. So, um, you know, with all that other stuff aside, they will miss him on the ice. So they got to find a way to, to fill that role. All right. Again, uh, GM Jeff yeah, Gordon. Uh, go ahead. Kelly, you just want you don't want to be like, oh, you got time, you got time, you know. And there's he's you got a guy coming right to barrel him down right to behind the net, and and see so you don't want to have that happen. So you know, hopefully, he does go somewhere and he he can land on his feet. All right, we'll have to see how that one plays out. Again, GM Jeff Gordon uh, releasing a couple of statements uh, not too long ago. This one from Frank Saravalli. Uh, Gordon says D'Angelo quote wasn't able to move on from being a healthy scratch for games two and three of the season after unsportsmanlike penalty quote I told him if his name came up in anything at all that he would be on waivers well, I felt like I had to stay true to my word the organization's word uh, another one coming in JD said he brought Tony into his office recently to have a good discussion with him also noted that they've monitored his social media use quote my feeling was with Tony we had to try to help Tony Tony's got a lot of good attributes, but sometimes he gets in his own way. Hartsey, do you think, uh, based on everything out there about his character off the ice, but what he brings to a team on the ice, that he gets another crack with another NHL team? Uh, I, I would say yes, but it, you, know, you know what kind of baggage he's bringing. You know what kind of a, a guy, I guess, you know, supposedly he is. So for me, uh, if I'm a GM or a coach, I, I don't want to bring someone who's going to be a huge distraction and, and – uh, not very good in the locker room and and you know some of the best teams I've been on you love every single guy that you're going to war with every day you love practicing you love having those battles uh, you know one-on-one -on -one and you know two-on-two -two down lows uh, making your team better making your uh, your teammates better and and you know when you step on the ice and in, in a game situation you're you're going through the wall for each other so uh, you know I'm not sure if he is that guy or if you bring him into a, a locker room that already has good chemistry you know you're kind of uh, uh, I don't know what the word is. You're you're just flipping the dice, you know, or flipping a coin 50 50. It works or it doesn't. So I, I, I'm not a huge fan of it, but, you know, he is a good player and you would want to see him on the ice, obviously, in your, in your team. If a GM out there is thinking about it, would they consult with coaches or 
guys who wear the captaincy to say, hey, what do you think we should do here? Do you think he would fit in the, you know, mantra of what this room is all about? Have, have you been consulted in your captaincy about guys and how they would play into that room? Uh, we, we have. Um, you know, I was in New York. We had a guy, Sean Avery, that was in Dallas, was in New York previously, that had some issues in the room in New York a little bit, and they talked to us and, and discussed if, you know, we felt that it was good to bring him back or not. And I, I think this is the same situation. Um, you know, you, you got to know the pulse of your room, what kind of room you have. If you have an older room, you can bring a guy like this on a very, very short leash. I agree that he'd be okay, but have a young room that you're, you're trying to build that culture, that winning culture. Um, you know, I don't think you can bring a guy like this in because he's going to, you know, who knows what he's going to do when he gets into a room like that and who else he's going to grab or, or whatever. But uh, I'm, I'm all about second and third chances. I hope somebody picks him up. I hope he changes his ways. Um, but at the end of the day, if I'm a GM, I, I'm probably staying away from this. All right. It sounds like the Rangers certainly are. Again, Jeff Gordon saying he has played his last game as a Ranger. Oh.